An infusion is commenced at 6 o'clock, running at 45 millilitres per hour. It's stopped at 11am. When I have a long question, a lot of writing, I only read it so far before I decide to think about writing something down. I never read the whole question. As soon as I think, oh, I can work something out. And when I get to that full stop there, I can work something out. An infusion is started at 6am, and it stops at 11am. I can immediately work out that that is actually five hours. If you read a long question, you can actually get a little bit confused and bemused by what's going on. But if you read part of it and work that part out, and then continue, it sometimes can make the question more understandable. I can still work a bit more out, actually, before I go past that full stop. I've worked out this running for five hours, and I'm told that it's 45 millilitres per hour. So I can actually work out... If you're not very good at that, then do a little bit of working out to one side. 5 5 is 25, carry the 2. 4 5 is 20, 22. So reading to that first full stop, I've worked out that there's 5 hours of the infusion, and this amount has been delivered into the patient. Let's carry on reading it. A second infusion is started at 11.30. So I'll write that down now. And it's running at a different rate, and this is stopped at 1600 hours. So I'll do the same thing. I'll work up that piece of information. And that's four and a half hours. From 11.30 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon is four and a half hours. And we're told that that is running at 38 millilitres per hour. So we've got four and a half hours at 38 millilitres per hour. Now we're going to work four and a half thirty-eighths. Well, let's work out four thirty-eighths first. Four eighths are thirty-two. Carry the three. Four threes are twelve and that three makes fifteen. So that's four thirty-eighths. And half of the thirty-eight Half of the 38 is 19. So here's my 4 38. So here's my half of 38. So if I add these two together, I get my 4 and a half 38s. So I've got this much in the first infusion. This in the second infusion. If I add these two together, 5 add 1, 2 add 7, I get the total amount over the whole infusion. Now I can't believe anyone's going to expect you to really read all of that and then do this in your head. Write it down, a few statements as you go, it makes the question I think a lot clearer.